Through this video, we're going to set up a really cool enclosure for stick insects and then show you everything you need to do to have them as pets. Meet Sid, the smooth, svelte stick insect, and Doris, the slightly prickly, but still lovable stick insect. My name is Laura from ALF, and we're going to take this journey together and learn everything about these cool insects. So this is the Reptibreeze small aluminium screen terrarium. We'll go to the unboxing. So you might want to cut in a minute, so I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We've got where are the instructions on <laughs> We need a screwdriver. And that is it. Okay, so we're gonna take our panels. We've got our top panel, our bottom panel, we've got the bottom. got two side panels, a back panel, an extra panel, not sure what that is, and a front bottom, I can't call it that, a front panel. Okay, they are all labelled, so if you want to like, zoom in there, edges labelled C, F, C, okay, that is the right panel. That top, that's a door. Okay, so we're going to start with these two panels. Screw it together. Oh, C is C. Okay, so they're labelled. So it's like this is this is labelled C, this is labelled C. So C and C go together. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to screw this together. Once I've got it stable, we can then do some like slow motion screwing screwdriver things. the different screw lengths. I've used the right one. Now at the bottom, so that is labelled K, this is labelled K, so this goes like that. That's actually really cool. Kalinda said to me earlier, because I was building that cabinet, she's like, you go to Ikea a lot. And I was like, yes, I also have an engineer as a husband, <laughs> so I don't have to think about these things. I just give them to him and he throws the instructions away and says, yeah, I can do that. That's the right side. So, J. Have you got a J? Yes. So this goes on like that. Just make sure that is D. That is D. So good job I'm not doing this in silence. We're definitely meeting out this audio. Most of it's just me talking to myself. Make sure it's flush. It's the most boring video ever, it's just me. There we go. Preferred weapon of choice. Whoa! Oh, okay. Do that side. Is it in the hole? Mm -hmm. So. These should go in like. Mm -hmm. The last one for this panel. At least it's cheaper because you've got to do half the work yourself. Yeah. No, we're on step four already. Left side panel and lower door. So flip it, flip it again. So we've got our labels, we've got B, G, and L. So the, the B, so the B matches the B and the L matches the L. <laughs> I didn't know my left and right until I got married. My maiden name began with B, and obviously my first name being Laura, it was like, it didn't really go, and I was like, I could never get the left was not right, the right left was Laura, because obviously it's like Laura, then the surname. Then I got married, and now my surname's Rosha. 
which is obviously an R, so I remember it's L R. <laughs> That's obviously nothing to do with stick insert gauges. Put together a stick insert cage and ramble about things. I got told yesterday in the office, I wish you came with an unsubscribe button. And I said to my husband this morning, I said, oh, do you wish I came with an unsubscribe button? And he said, yes, you do. It's called divorce. <laughs> oh, we're putting the front bottom on. Where's the front back? There it is. So it's now looking like a cage. I'm guessing it does that. Oh, so the screws go in the holes. Okay, that's cool. So they lock like that, and then for easy cleaning, that's cool. I like that, it's a good idea. You've got your bottom in, just gonna now attach our door. So we've got hinges. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to attach it like this so it's easier to screw that in there because then I haven't got to worry about balancing it. See? Smart. We're using the small screws for this one because I read the instructions and that's what it said. Ah! There we go. So we have got the tray as well. It's not a bit of good not a good bit of unboxing here, sorry. But, it's Zoomed branded, and it should. Ta -da! So this is gonna stop our stuff from falling out. So, and then, like I said earlier, another cool little feature that I discovered, I mean, it's probably on box somewhere, I've just not read it, is where you can just lift this up and pull that out. So it's full. We can um, yeah. Nice and breezy. Sorted. We're going to be setting up and housing Aztec insects. Um, so we have built our stick insect enclosure already, which you have seen, and inside we've got some paper towel. Now you can put various different types of, um, of stuff in the uh, bottom. We've gone for paper towel just because they are new to us and we want to make sure they're doing everything they should correctly. So we're just going to go get some bramble. This is in water and we're just going to put that in here. right in the center so this will give them something to climb on and something to eat as well um, this was picked outside in our car park it has been thoroughly washed um, to make sure there's nothing nasty on there so to give our stick insects the proper british um, feel weather feeling we're going to make lightly mist the tank and the bramble uh, to a give them something to drink um, and b make it uh, grow a bit better hopefully It wouldn't be complete without some stick insects. So we have chosen McClay's stick insects, also known as giant spiny stick insects. Oh, and they're on the move already. So we hopefully have a male and a female. These guys get up to 15 centimeters for females. Males a little bit smaller. Now the male is in the box still. The female is being very adventurous. Um, you can tell the difference because the female is spiky and will get a lot chunkier than the male. The male is smoother and you'll see him in a second. Now these are from Australia. Uh, in the wild they eat eucalyptus but they are these ones are bred in the UK um, and they are very used to bramble. So this is Doris. This is the female and she's very active and we're going to put her in her new home. Straight away clinging onto that bramble. There we go. And for the more sedate Sid, so I'm not sure if you can see but he's a lot smoother and he's having a bit of a wobble which is the way that they imitate 
being dead bits of leaf in the wind. So we're going to introduce Sid to his new home so that he can get to know it. And there he is. Sid and Doris are in their new homes.